next guest this evening is one of the great rock and roll artists of all time. Tickets for the North American tour of his masterpiece album, The Wall, go on sale May 10th. Please welcome one of the founders of Pink Floyd, Mr. Roger Waters, everybody. <laughs> Very, very welcome. I'm a huge fan. So uh, um, you're um, off to doing, you're doing the wall. You're bringing I it am. in its entirety. In its entirety, yes. And then when, did, when does it actually start? What, what date? Do you remember? Uh, I know October 5th it says you're at the garden. We are at the garden on October the 5th. I will be there October 5th, yes. We start um, at the Air Canada Centre in Toronto on 15th of September. Okay, very good. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, is it, now, what can people <coughs> expect? They expect the whole wall album. Do you have the, do you have the pig? We have the pig. <laughs> the flying pig. Anyone who's never seen We it. have the teacher. We have all that stuff. Uh, but we have a bunch of new projections that we've been working on for the last few months. Really? Um, yeah. And um, but the, 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 the piece has changed a bit in the, uh, since 30 years ago. I've broadened it, made it a bit more political. And uh, hopefully it will have a more universal message. You know, back then it was only about this one rather kind of miserable, angry, young, middle-aged man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, completely, yes. And, um, and, and now I've tried to make it much more about the walls that divide people in a more general way. Now, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think Pink Floyd, when you, when you first uh, started, you were an art band. You, I might be way off on this, but you were all in art school together, and your buddy was doing an art installation, and they needed music. And they hired you guys to just play sounds to go with his art project. Am I wrong? Um, we, there was a, a tutor at the School of Architecture that we were all at called Mike Leonard, yeah, who was mucking around doing experiments with lights. Yeah, it was like a weird box. It was yeah. like things it, would light it, up. It was a strange time because there were a lot of people were experimenting with visuals on the West Coast, shows lights and people like that. Yeah. And um, we sort of stole a lot of that and, <laughs> and uh, got lucky. Yeah, but I mean, it was great. And it was you and uh, Sid Barrett. I'm a huge yeah. fan of Sid Barrett, who. Uh, uh, that you just kind of got together and uh, it's just got interesting that you were called the Pink Floyd at first, right? And it was named after two, I'm telling you, right? Am I, I don't know, if I'm too geeking out, let me know. Uh, no, we, uh, first of all, we were called the Megadeths and then after that, <laughs> no, we were, we, the were you? Sickness, yeah, it goes back further than the Pink Floyd sound. You were, yeah, you were the Megadeths? We were, unfortunately. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. I never knew that. No, I know. Not many people do, thank goodness. I don't know why I told you. No. <laughs> I get that out of people. This is fantastic. You might start crying in five minutes. I, I, That's I, the way I, it works. I probably will. I've never been on television before. I know. This is this. I know. This is, yeah. I, I'm excited that you're here doing this. If only I could do an accent. <laughs> Sounds pretty realistic. Yeah, she can help you out. Yeah. That's very uh, good. Now, can I just quickly, just uh, one more thing about Sid, if you don't mind talking about Sid Barrett, but the, the, the rumor goes is that he just took too, too many drugs and that he just kind of lost it and then at one point he just didn't want to play or couldn't play or couldn't function really and then he kind of eventually just left the band and Dave Gilmore came in. And you know, there is a... Um uh, schizophrenia is, is uh, used to describe a, a, a loose um, kind of amalgamation of symptoms, of which many Sid had. He, you know, he heard voices and he had trouble um, keeping a grip on the reality of his situation. And on top of that, he did take, you know, too many hallucinogenics. Uh, I think if you were in the, uh, the position of being an incipient schizophrenic like he was, any hallucinogenics were a very bad thing. So, um, yeah, it was it was very sad, and and he sort of drifted away from the reality of, uh, of the rest of our lives. And did you uh, is this story true that you were recording? Um, uh, I think it was Shine On You, Crazy Diamond, and 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 a bald man walked in with a toothbrush in his mouth, and no eye, no eyebrows. Am I making this up? Um, I, you know, <laughs> it, it's not a funny story. I'm not sure, but but. Um, he did not have a toothbrush in his mouth. Okay, good. As far as I, <laughs> that, I tried to make it funny. He did. He had a big bag of candies which he was eating, and 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 the story is true. If you've heard the story, that 
I had no idea who this person was, and this was my closest childhood friend. He, yeah. he, he'd put on about 100 pounds in weight, just completely, I uh, just didn't recognize him. I think David eventually said to me, you, you don't, don't get it, do you? And I went, get what? And I looked over and oh my goodness, and I suddenly realized who it was. That's and we were recording the song that I wrote for Sid at the time in the studio, so it was a strange, strange moment. That's so interesting. Now, uh, as Pink Floyd went on and, uh, gosh, you 23 times platinum, The Wall, one of the five best-selling albums of all time. I mean, congratulations. That's, like, <laughs> That's great. I mean, that has spawned, I mean, inspired everyone and spawned other I mean, artists, but is there, have you ever written a song that you said, oh, this is just too out there? This is just too weird. <laughs> I'm freaking myself out. Uh, no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> no, but I shall continue to try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is fantastic, absolutely. Now, uh, uh, yeah, I just want you to tell everyone, you're also on Facebook now. Finally, you caved, I and did. you're on Facebook. I did. I'm part of the social networking community, Yeah, I believe it's called. i got to write some corny uh, wall jokes for you for Facebook, because you know, when you update, all in all, you're just updating yeah. your wall. You can do that one? <laughs> you won't do that one? No. <laughs> I love that you're honest and go, no, I will not do that joke. <laughs> Who writes your material? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it's me, I'm in Special. trouble. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I can't wait to see you, and uh, I'll be at every show screaming. I'll be, uh, I'll be, uh, yeah, I'll be waving at you, and you'll be ignoring me. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on. I'm yeah, honored. Uh, make sure you see Roger Waters live performance. The Rock Masterpiece, The Wall. It will be a life changer when we come back. A song from the new pornographers. <laughs>